All right, welcome back to the media school here at Indiana University election 2016. And um, we're gonna go to Meredith now, reporter Meredith Juliet, who is live at a Republican watch party in Indianapolis. Hi, Meredith. Just wondering, uh, how has the mood shifted there throughout the evening tonight? Meredith, can you hear me? So Meredith is waiting uh, at the Republican watch party to hear from uh, Republican Governor-elect Eric Holcomb, with, uh, who took 52% of the vote, John Gregg, 45% uh, of the vote, Rex Bell, Libertarian, at about 3% of the vote, looking to the uh, stuff that we, we know right now, U.S. Senate, Todd Young at 53%, Evan Bayh, 41% and that was called earlier as well. We're going to go over to uh, Peter India from Indiana Public Broadcasting. He's with State Impact and covers uh, everything education related and uh, big news over there, Peter. The latest we've heard is that uh, Jennifer McCormick has, uh, it will be, will take over the superintendent of public instruction. Is that what you've heard? Yeah, that's correct. That's um, the word that we're hearing over here at the uh, Indiana Democratic uh, watch party. Um, Glenda Ritz is expected to take the stage in anywhere from five to ten minutes to uh, give a concession speech for that. And we have the results there on the screen. Jennifer McCormick, the GOP candidate at 54 percent, 46 percent for Glenda Ritz. What, Peter, what do you think Glenda Ritz will, will have to say? I, I honestly think she might be kind of surprised by these results. She's led a, uh, she had a pretty pro high-profile campaign that got her into office the first time. And I think for those of us who have been following education policy, um, it was, she was kind of the one who was expected to take this race. Um, I think maybe the last couple years, there have been a number of political skirmishes that have kind of defined uh, Indiana's education policy creation. And so we might be seeing that playing out here tonight. Um, we're seeing a sweep of Republicans in most of these races. So it could be um, also people kind of voting along party lines. And McCormick, as the uh, Republican superintendent candidate, um, might have gotten a lot of uh, down-ballot uh, advantage from that. Okay, thank you very much, Peter. We're waiting any moment now to hear from would be the governor-elect for Indiana, Eric Holcomb, who was told or told us that he'd be up at any minute to talk. Uh, but going back to uh, the state superintendent, of course, uh, that uh, position runs the Department of Education, chairs the Board of Education. Uh, Ritz, as uh, Peter mentioned, was elected in 2012, making her she was the only Democrat to hold a statewide office. Uh, McCormick is currently the Yorktown superintendent and says that she hopes to take politics away from the state superintendent position. So until we hear more, I believe, from the uh, state rep or GOP area where we're hoping to hear from Eric Holcomb, we'll go ahead and return back to PBS NewsHour. We'll be back with more.